So, so Oya, you you mentioned that you're working with a business coach. I get approached um, often by different levels of coaches, whether it's it's business, finance, marketing, social media, whatever. Um, mm -hmm. But how did you choose your um, person uh, to to be a coach, and and how did you kind of verify that you know she was worth giving money to, to provide a service? She's really worth every single goddamn penny. I can I. You know, on a personal level, on a professional level, she is just worth her weight in coal. She's lush. That's the only way I can describe her. Um, so. But how did you I determine met, that? You didn't know that at, front, at first. No, right? I didn't. I didn't. Um, so we went, um, I went along as a guest to a business development meeting, um, met a whole new load of people when I was really sort of down in the dumps with my business. And she gave her um presentation about what she does so we had a one-to-one -one, and that was the first one-to-one -one I think that I had with a coach and I I've done some work for telesales work for other coaches in the past I know precisely what they do but it was very much um business orientated you, you know making sure that your business plan is up to date your financial plans and everything that goes with running a business and I think if you are not 100% sure of yourself and, you know, holistically, then how can you give that to your business and know what the best decision is? Um, she is a trained coach with one of many, which is, main, which is own, a, a female only coaching um, support network. And she mentioned the five hierarchical types of a woman's journey from um you know your teenage pubescent years through past postmenopausal um being lover sorceress um queen mother lover warrioress i think so there's five of them Thanks. and that to me really resonated with me because some days you feel like um mothering everybody whether it be your your business whether it be your um um subordinates whether it be your spouse your friends whatever and sometimes you want to be the queen mm -hmm. you know you're giving the orders you, you you're explaining to everybody how to do the processes and um what it might be and it's like yeah i really get that so to me, it really resonated and it homed in and my instincts were just on overdrive. You know, for you guys, right. it would be your gut. Yeah. Mm, mm. Just listen to your gut. Yes. And yeah, she, she's, she's worked out really well for me. So the question, uh, sorry, Gregory, there's one question I will ask is that, mm -hmm. so the female only offering is a whole level of understanding that coaching in general doesn't offer and there aren't many female specific coaches yet not as many let's say so there are hundreds of male coaches how can gregory what was it that you recognized in yourself that pushed you into action then you said you were it very Press. Yeah, so it wasn't what she um, could do for me on a business level, but it was on a personal level as well. Mm. Um, how to be a better mum, better wife, better daughter, um, and it was, and it wasn't just that I was giving my all to everybody else, but I wasn't taking any time out for myself. I find that still really, really hard to do. Mm -hmm. um, I've got my running, I've got my yoga, I've got my martial arts. Um, but it isn't toning down. So she's put into, um, or we've put into practice together, my needs that I need to meet every single day in the morning, which is the journaling, 10 minutes of yoga, 10 minutes of uh, meditation, go and walk the dog. Then Lovely. my day starts. Okay, we're about to run out of time. So do you want to give her a name check? She's going to be joining this page, hopefully. Sharon Strickland Clark of Brave Tart Coaching. Excellent. Right. So say goodbye because we're about to run out of time. So if we all wave, woo, and then uh, yeah, yeah, uh, 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 
uh, and Gregory, yeah, I don't think you've got any chance of finding a male coach. What do, you, do you know what you want coaching in? Um, I would, if I were to ask it, it would probably be both on, on the personal, you know, overcoming some of the things in my past that Jeez. I have only partially gotten there. Gregory, Sharon is retraining to coach men. So watch this space. Mm. Okay. We're about to go. Just go in a second.